Well, I guess something is better than nothing concerning these splash guards. Still kicked up a lot of dirt when I was out in the country roads the other day. All right, the purpose of this video is to ask for your guys' suggestions on a 12 volt portable box build I'm thinking about doing. I got some of these orange Plano ammo cans and I kind of like the look of orange but I really like the look of you know solid steel it just looks more authentic and old school but you know steel conducts electricity and rust and it's a real pain in the butt to drill when you're using a hole saw you know a lot of metal shavings and it'll nick your hand up and shavings can fling into your eye whereas with plastic drilling holes into those little ammo cans is, is nothing. This steel one has the VMAX tank 10 amp hour battery in there. It's really, really a good deep cycle AGM battery. Shuts up really well. Got the wig wagger in there. But what, I'll show you this uh, new battery tender junior 800. I got it. It's a dual purpose one. It does lead acid battery or lithium. So you plug it in. There's a button there lead acid is on the left lithium is on the right and I got this specifically for my new ammo can that has the Dakota lithium 10 amp hour battery in it I'll get into that in a second but it also just works flawlessly with lead acid battery no issues whatsoever now here is my lithium one with the Dakota lithium 10 amp hour battery in there you know I'm just showing you the wig wagger function there that's that new style LED voltmeter with a switch and a QC 3.0 fast charger socket I think it's really really nice there's my cigarette lighter in my right hand there using dual bus yakety schmackety you've seen that in my other video I gotta tighten up that wig wagger it's this double sided tape in there but this thing is really, really lightweight. This was kind of my first attempt with lithium. But I want to show you here. I'm going to plug this battery tender junior in and select it for lithium. Push the button there. Now it's on lithium mode. And you plug this thing in. Now here's the problem that I had with this battery tender junior 800. You know, it's supposedly is good for lithium. When this thing got up to you know almost fully charged the voltage spiked up to like 15.5 15.6 and it just wouldn't go into you know tender mode you know make trickle charge mode or whatever I don't know what's going on with this battery tender so I contacted Dakota lithium and they said there's some BMS issues with the battery and playing well with the battery tender junior 800 now to be honest I did not contact battery tender junior on this charger so there might be something that I'm missing or it's completely fine but uh, you know hats off to Dakota lithium for sending me a charger for this unit so I'll have the correct lithium battery charger I'm just showing you that the cigarette lighter works in the cigarette lighter socket and there's the new socket for the voltmeter switch and QC 3.0 yeah I like I really like uh, the weight saving with the plastic and working with plastic is is really really easy <laughs> especially on the hands when you don't cut your hands up drilling so as I said before I got you know I got an orange ammo can very similar to the one that I built there and I'm thinking about making one orange you know Christmas is coming up too my, my brother would love to have one of these for his shop and right now I just got a VMAX tank battery in there deep cycle AGM but I'm not quite sure what do you think how many lights should I put on it I want to put everything that I have on the lithium one on this new build but I was thinking like orange lights, you know, for an orange box, you know, for like warning. You see it on road construction sites, and there's that vent. God, I love that vent right there. Got a couple holes in the bottom there, too. 
SAE 2 pin for charging. But man, I love the look of metal. So, all right guys, what are your suggestions? What do you think would be the way to go with this orange box build? I also have a couple of steel ones that I got at the local um, Army Navy surplus store I could do too. But, uh, all right guys, hey, thanks for watching and let me know what you think with this uh, next build.